Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Don't forget, please make sure you're still subscribed and you can help me out by sharing my videos. Here's an update what's going on at Long Valley Caldera. USGS is reporting 10 earthquakes within the last 24 hours. Of course, there's been more and they're not reporting them and they're underestimating the magnitude of these quakes. The largest being most recently a 1.1 that came in as I was downloading the data. The magnitude of the earthquake was figured out by USGS CISN. The California Integrated Seismic Network Northern California Seismic System, which includes UC Berkeley, USGS at Memlo Park, and other partners supposedly. This earthquake I'm going to show you here was a 1.71, not a 0 0.7. It was 4.2 miles in depth or 6.8 kilometers. Here is the spectrogram for that earthquake and I'll bring it down for you so you can see the magnitude 1.71 and we'll go to its seismic signature 1.71. That's this earthquake over here on the right. For some reason, these earthquakes over here, that one there, this one here, this one here, and this one here is not being reported. We'll look at the spectrogram. Yeah, look at that. Um, that looks to me to be a dike intrusion where you got a crack in the ground where magma has been fi finding its way to rise up to the surface. See the layers of the melt? Yeah, and, and because of how close these lines are coming is very concerning. Um, look at that one. Look at the heat. Now I want to go to the seismic signature and we'll make this bigger. Yeah, these are definite drum beats. It's kind of like where there's a plug and in a hose. It's a really good example. You got a rock and a hose and um, it slowly pushes it through the hose. Um, yeah, making what they call drum beats. Let me bring this over a little bit more so I can see it a little bit better. Yeah, actual drum beats. That could be why they're not reporting them, um, because these are, in fact, um, a slow-moving earthquake as the uh, ground melts. Boom, 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 right? Let me make this one bigger. Uh, I'll pull it over. Let me pull this over for you. See that? Those are definite drum beats. And you see this uh, prior to an eruption for a volcano as it's recharging. Yeah, look at that. Here's the other one. You know, I called, oh, when the earthquakes just started happening, I called City Hall there at Mam Mammoth Lakes and asked them if they had any type of emergency disaster plan in place. And, yeah, they don't. The last time, I believe it was 83, where USGS believed that there was a strong possibility that Long Valley Caldera uh, could erupt. Um, yeah, about 2,000 people moved out of town. They lost all the tourism. And the city nearly went bankrupt. All right, we'll go back over here so it's smaller. Yeah, I, I would say they got, a, they got an area over there where you got dike intrusion and the magma slowly coming up. The most recent one here that I got I think they did report this one. Let's see. 2037. Nope, they did not report that one. That one comes in as a magnitude 1.87. Looks like we might have another small one right there. Let's at its signature. No. This is just all strictly A, long, a slow moving earthquake. Let's bring this across. Yep, slow moving earthquake or what they call tremors. 
I have three different monitors showing. It's actually two different monitors, um, different bandwidth. Uh, this one here is HHZ MLAC on the left. Uh, this one on in the middle is um, LRL. And the one on the right, let me pull it over, is uh, bandwidth BHZ MLAC. You know, the earthquake activity actually shows up better over here on this left one. Let me close this out so you can see the different earthquakes. Like I said, there's been a lot, but they're not reporting. I mean, you can see them marked in red here. Let me go up over here and see what this monitor was showing. This monitor is actually from that cave between convict and laurel fault zones. So let's take a look at this. Yeah, see the magma's coming up. It's real close to the crust of the earth, the surface of the earth. Um, let's look at the seismic signature. Yeah, yeah, lots of drum beats, huh? And it's not getting larger. There we go. Yeah, yeah, tectonic in, in movement, slow moving earthquakes. And let's pull it down to what it was showing when I when I pulled the files. Right there. Okay, I'll have to pull it up for you. Yep. Well, there's a couple with rounded tops, but not a lot. Let's check out this one here. Yep. Not good. Not good at all. Oh, make it smaller. Yeah, it got real big there. So here's the two fault lines I got drawn out, convict and moral. And the monitor is here at the top, looks like, or close to the top somewhere. It's supposed to be in a mine somewhere over here. And then the other monitor is actually over there by uh, the town of Mammoth Lakes, right there. And I believe it's in the uh, police department where they have the, the earthquake monitor. So here's the most recent which the stream view is showing. This is a magnitude 1.1 supposedly. And this is the other one um, that I already showed you. And we'll bring it over because those two it looks like are the most recent. Have to wonder how many people are camping there or um, enjoying the outdoors or maybe at the uh, hot springs. I've talked about the uh, hot springs that are over here. This purple here, that's the resurgent dome, and this is majority of where the earthquakes have been occurring. Yeah, Hot Creek Pool, uh, Whitmore Hot Springs. This yellow area, is, that is the uh, Long Valley Caldera area. As I've said before, any volcano can erupt within 10 minutes, um, or it can take its sweet time. But they probably wouldn't put a warning out unless something major happens there because of what happened back in 83. Oh, there was another thing I wanted to add. They do have an evacuation route that they put in after all the activity that occurred there in 83. And then they renamed the road Mammoth Scenic Loop Escape Route. In conjunction with the increased earthquakes and warnings in 1983, an escape route was built connecting Mammoth Mountain to Highway 395. Previously, only one road connected the two. However, after the scare wore off and the economy returned to normal, the route was renamed the Mammoth Scenic Loop to further encourage tourists. While the route remained an extra means of escaping during an emergency, labeling it as a tourist attrac attraction greatly detracts from the education of hazards present in the area. They want to bring in the tourists. They don't want them to realize the threat, and probably a lot of people that go there don't realize the threat. 
I don't even think they have publicized the increase in activity that's going on there. So what are your thoughts? Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. If you wish to support my work, I'm also on Patreon. You can do it for as little as $1 a month. Always have a plan and be prepared for a disaster. I found that being prepared, there is um, no fear, or at least less fear, and I leave everything up to God. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.